hey guys happy saturday today is saturday and it is my birthday week hey turn up i'm actually off this saturday so i was like you know what i'm about to do my makeup and get cute that ain't cute and go somewhere which we still really can't go anywhere texas have opened up but there's a lot of restrictions and i don't want to risk it but me and jody are going to go to my grandma's grandpa he's in this rocker that's dysfunctional and not working properly say hey jody he turned four months the other day and i'm like we have time when it was like one day he was just barely born and i remember counting down to new year's eve me and my mom were in the hospital we were like three two one happy new year sleep <laughs> and now four months have went by just like that it's crazy because i'm turning 25 and i remember always being like i want to have a baby before i'm 25 and God granted my prayer request, wish, whatever you want to call it. You guys, look. We ready to go. Look at his little Nikes, y'all. Show them your shoes. Your Hirachis. Hopefully I said that right. Speaking of shoes, I got these Crocs these are crocs y'all croc sandals and they're so my toe is still messed up but they are so comfortable like super comfortable so we're gonna head out and do some fun stuff for mommy's birthday guys if you don't follow me on instagram go follow me look at this picture focus isn't that so cute <laughs> so yeah Go follow me. All right, you ready to go, buddy? You ready to go? You ready to go? I say he needs to be a cameraman because he's just so into the camera. He's gonna record him mommy on the news. Okay, so we're in the car. He back there chilling. He's just like looking around or whatever. Um, what was I gonna say? Shoot, I don't know. I just I'm so tired of like just sitting in the house, and moping. Like I cannot even remember the last time I've done my makeup. Girl, you need to put some lip gloss on. Your lips is dry. But yeah, this is my birthday week. So I'm happy about that. And much better. It sucks that we're in a quarantine because I think like it just sucks that we're in a quarantine. Like right now I am on anxiety and depression medication. Um and I know like a lot of people like smoke weed and all that kind of stuff. And there's other ways to cope with anxiety and depression. But um, I just decided to call my doctor and get on medication because postpartum is like no joke. And I definitely think I have postpartum. Um, and you know, I was battling whether or not to get some like medication or whatever because I just feel like that's going against my faith. Like I have strong faith, I have strong morals. I shouldn't be needing medication to deal with my problems or to deal with the stress or whatever that I'm feeling. But yeah, I just had to do it. So it is what it is. I'm not gonna feel bad about it because at the end of the day, I think it's better to get help and to talk to somebody and to do something about your situ situation rather than do nothing about your situation and let it like pile up or let it build up or let it get it become a bigger issue so it is what it is i just 
rolling with the punches as it comes because I'm not about to beat myself up about just, yeah, about make, helping myself. Um, oh, it was cute. Um, I was like, hold on now. <laughs> I always, like, I've started to think that my soulmate will be um, like a single mom. Like, I'm gonna meet a single mom, we're gonna meet each other and like fall in love. Who knows, it may come true. I'm gonna go to Daiquiri's to go, get a daiquiri from there. Um, head to my grandmother's house to visit with her. And, I don't know, just ride around with my baby boy. No, I can't be in the car too long. He might take a nap. This woman is smoking this cigarette hard. You guys, look at him. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> he is looking like okay, but thankfully, he doesn't like cry anymore like freak the fuck out when we're in the car he used to like freak out now he's just chilling <sighs> i feel so lifeless y'all my niece like texted me today and she was like hey nanny are you okay and i was like yeah she was like um i was like why yeah i'm good and she was like, I had a dream that um, you died, but Jody was still here. You guys, that's like my biggest fear um, happening. Like that is my biggest fear ever. So I, and I know she's gonna watch this cause they watch me, but um, it freaked me out. And I have to just like say a prayer. Cause like I said, I'm already having like really bad anxiety and really bad really bad depression and I would just like I know death is just so final and it never mattered to me before <clears throat> it never mattered to me before but like now that I'm a mom I just pray that he keeps me living until my son is grown they said they uh in Detroit they had a party with thousand people there mm -hmm. hi y'all I'm with my grandparents house this is my aunt Jackie Oh, look at my only aunt. You know I have a YouTube channel? I have a YouTube channel. Oh, you do? Yeah. You didn't know that? Yeah. I've been having a YouTube channel for a long time. What? How'd you get your phone like that? No, this is a camera. Camera. Oh. Oh, it, yeah. It comes with the screen. Yeah. I'm going to flip down. How much that cost? Mm hmm. Six fifty. That's good. Yeah, this is my Jackie. Um, my grandmother cooked. And she's and holding see? Jody over there. I said, yeah. Is he going to sleep, Mama? He said, you're not going to get me well, out he of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jody don't play. And he want to pull it off. I want to help him. No, I got me second. I decided to mix it up like a scrambled egg in the box. You can't go <laughs> That's funny. one way, one color. You have yep, to and the people in their house parties, I'm like, oh, they crazy. They, they, they <laughs> what do they not understand? Six feet apart. Did he finish it? Eh? No. Oh, okay. He did acting bad. Oh my goodness, He, he's a crybaby. I'm sorry. All right, guys. This is my grandma and Jody over here, and Papa is playing the guitar. What? You see, I'm putting you on my vlog. He can't even hear us. So that is Jody. This is Jody's great grandparents. That's amazing. <laughs> they look just alike. I said they look just alike. <laughs> He said he's supposed to be coming. All right, so we are leaving my grandparents' house. 
Jody kind of acted a complete fool, but I know it's because he's tired. Oops, sorry. I'm not see that charge it. But um, I know it's because he's, he's just sleepy. So he kind of acted crazy, but um, now we're headed to the house. And he should do better. I, oh, I know why he acted fool. He was crying because I had gave him the wrong milk. Uh, Cause I had like some leftover regular formula in my bag, but he doesn't drink regular formula. He drinks like Total Comfort, which is a special kind of uh, Similac. And I had left it at home and was trying to use the one that I had in his bag, and it just messed his stomach up completely. Like my baby's stomach was hurting. Thankfully, my grandma had some apple juice, so I gave him some apple juice, and it calmed him down and put him to sleep for an hour. Um, but yeah, now we're headed to the house. I'm gonna try to edit this video tonight and put it up tonight. Um, but someone asked me a really good question and I've actually gotten this question a couple of times since, I mean in the last, well, not a couple of times. I've gotten this question a lot of times in the last year. And that was, how do you move on after an extreme heartbreak or after like a breakup from someone you were truly in love with? And honestly, I feel like I could write a book on this now, but honestly, it's just about self-discovery. You have to take time to discover yourself over again. And I honestly did not do that until I was pregnant because before I was pregnant my coping mechanism was drinking and partying every night so I didn't care that I was a flight attendant I didn't care what I had going on I wanted to go out I wanted to have a good time I wanted to drink and then it got old very quickly for me for some people it doesn't get old like they can just keep doing that and it like it takes years and years for them to be over that life or whatever but for me it got old really really quickly and I found myself wanting what I have more like what I had before but on like a larger scale like I want to have somebody to come home to I want to be able to cook and clean oh that's the popo hold on Popo behind me, beside me, and all around me. Man, this is good in the light. All right, mom, I'm gone. <laughs> Love ya. Can I have a kiss? He's not gonna wake up. I'll be back before he wake up. Alright y'all, so I'm gonna go right off with my, one of my good friends. I'm just about to cruise around in this quarantine and whatever like that. And then, love you. Okay. Chess in the back. Mask, I put it in the trunk. What? Huh? The mask, because she sells masks. Oh, okay. Like the blue chip with time. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Save me. You know how to unlock it? Yeah, I know how to work the car. It's mine. <laughs> that ain't it. I did. You gonna break that handle off. Press and hold it, maybe. Yeah, right. I don't know what button that is. Let me take that out for this one. Hold on, did you shut the trunk? Let me put this back in. Oh, sorry. This is like, this is my first time taking the camera out in low light, y'all. It's, it's 
decent. My eyebrows need to be done. What he said? You guys look. The next one said he was trying to move out the house where his mama and move in with a white girl. What a white girl is she bringing? French vodka. Come here. Let's jump him. <laughs> Let me take a picture. No, I'm blocking for my channel. Put us in there and hell. They gotta see you hype with your birthday. Hey. I don't think they can see y'all. Oh, no, they can't. This is what you Hi. <laughs> that's Vanessa, guys. And that's the guy y'all have seen periodically in my channel. The only guy that's ever been on my channel. Well, so if you watch my channel, you know what guys it is. And if you don't, well, then forget you. Let me see something. Good morning, you guys. It's Sunday. So last night ended great. Had a great time. Y'all, I'm in this group on Facebook and it's called Blessings. And like you make an Amazon wish, wish list and then you fulfill people's wishes and they fulfill yours. And I fulfilled one like a person's today. Well, a couple of people. But I sent the wrong note to my friend. I sent hers. Granted her one of her wishes. She was like, who's Shannon? I was like, girl, that was an accident. Congratulations. Her and her husband got a house. She's like, I want you to come see her house. Like, okay, oh, we will. I need to hurry up and finish this video so that I can edit this video and I can put this video up because I literally am behind on videos, y'all. I'm so sorry. Just bear with me. Like, I think sometimes I beat myself up because this is my passion. And, like, I'm just, I've been to the point lately where I'm like, what's the point of doing it if, like, I can't do it consistently? Because I know what it takes to be successful on YouTube. Mm. But, um, I don't know. I'm just doing what I can do right now. And then eventually, I will be able to do it whenever, however long. That's what I'm praying for. I'll be able to take the, do this full time eventually. Cause I just, I really miss using this platform and creating content and stuff. 